up here at Greg Boyd's house, we installed a condensing boiler, a radiant heating system, a home standby generator, and he also has uh, propane powered lighting on the exterior of his home here. He's on top of a mountain, the wind blows quite frequently here, lots of storms, lots of snow. The temperature is about 10 degrees cooler up here. He works from home, he does everything online, so the need for a standby generator in this particular area is a lot higher than the average person that's on the beaten path. So if you design your house around propane, you're going to keep your electric bill low, keep your electric consumption low, and you will also minimize the size of the generator necessary to power the home. So in this home, we have one of the most advanced types of heating systems you can have for this area. Uh, we utilize a propane powered condensing boiler that heats hot water that will travel throughout the floors of the home. We run this whole system at an extremely low temperature, which is where we experience the savings in heating costs for the year. The biggest misconception with generators is fuel consumption. So if you have a house like this, which is state-of-the-art LED lighting, nothing in this home really draws a lot of electricity, then the generator is not going to require a lot of fuel to maintain power supply to the house. It ends up being a lot more efficient than the customers expect.